but I'll be starting with this little baby here. So let's enjoy the rebirth of the Capcom vs. Konami series. So let's uh, roll the attraction mode, I guess, for a little bit. Yeah, this text goes a little bit fast. From 1989. So yeah, the sequel to this is called Warriors of Fate. That's a very good game. It's an actual beat em up. This is like an auto scroller beat em up of sorts. And I'll be beard guy because I'm fat and I also have a beard. So I couldn't feel more identified with this guy than now. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, so much Chinese shit, but still, at least the text is in English. So yeah, it's like a beat em up again, with auto scroller. You have to kill all enemies, and then the camera will start moving. I don't know if this actual game got a console port. I don't think it did. Same thing goes with Seagull, which is, again, one of the most solid beat em ups I've ever played. It can be a coincidence that the best beat em ups of all time are Capcom beat em ups from 93. I'm still talking about the sequel to this. I have the bad habit. Of talking about the sequels when I'm playing the first game of something. That's health. So Flo say are you there? How's life? Can I use special here? Wait, did I actually summon the assistant by myself? Also, that fucking stash. Alright, bosu bosu. Yep, that's my special. Oh no, it's one of those Capcom games that make the funny noise not annoying at all when I'm about to die. It's okay, play video games, just like I'm doing. I'm not expecting people to just talk shit. I do the talking. The shit talking. Leave that to me, so don't worry. Here it comes! Beautiful noise. Well... Yeah, I, I was thinking of doing other things. Probably Capcom Konami... Uh, Capcom vs Konami will be a thing for this year. I have other plans. I have all my YouTube shit pretty much done for this year and for part of the next. Since this is going to be like a busy year, I'm still on vacation. So I'm using all this free time. I've been recording like fucking crazy since December. Non-stop. So we can finally do full-time streaming. Yeah, compared to 2008, 9, and 10, as I said before, apart from going like constantly changing consoles, I will be adding more consoles. There were consoles that I never fucking touched in the original series. For example, the, the Sega Saturn or the Sega Dreamcast. 
I'll be playing lots of Saturn and uh, Dreamcast games for this series and for others in which I plan on including those consoles. Probably I need to give the N64 a chance. I don't like that console at all. Was that a time stopper? No, it was an upgrade. I didn't include the PS2, of course there will be plenty of PS2 though. Since I own the console. I can also emulate it, worst case scenario. Of course, the Wii. You know, there will be more, no matter what. More variety. So, what do you think about this noise? It's not annoying at all. Good noises. What about giving me health instead of money? I got like one health pickup in the entire first stage and then nothing else since then. I'm a little careless. Yeah, allow me to disagree. Not just a little. Problem is that the one controlling you sucks at games. Oh yeah, another question that actually may arise about the... Alright, that was weird. Cutabolts! Can I destroy them? Yes, they go on fire. Cool. Just like in real life. Oh, never spear a catapult to... You know... For me to find out if there is actually those that... Set on fire. So yeah, another question. Are you gonna do repeated games? Yes. For example, there are arcade versions of games that had a console release. Are you gonna play one version or the two versions or all of the versions? All of them. No one after the other probably. Probably there could be weeks or months of difference between one playthrough and the other. I don't know, take Street Fighter as an example. I mean, how many fucking versions of Street Fighter games are there? A lot. Well, I'll be playing them all. Or as many as I can slash want. So I was able to... Alright, that is special. It doesn't always work. Oops. Suddenly, Karnov. Oh, that uses my energy. That I see. That's why I was uh, trying to pull off magic now. And it didn't work. You basically sacrifice your own health. Well, fuck my life. Hello? Well, the voice acting is better than in a lot of games this generation. Can you hear the music? Probably you can barely hear it. This is pretty good, actually. There's a lot of sound effects and noise going on. So I'll go check it out in a minute. What? 
All right, that's oil, I guess. So you call this a sword? Hmm. Alright, it's cool that you can destroy the projectiles. I still don't understand who makes those funny noises. Speaking of funny noise. Let me check the volume real quick, maybe that's about it, I guess. I don't want it to sound too loud either, so... Hey. Oh, I was an pressing pulse. Or I'm pulse for that matter. Well, surprise boulder! In the face. Let me tell you guys, that's not a good cover. I suck at first and third person shooters, but I know what a good cover looks like. Believe me. So you are someone's brother, probably a brother from, you know, of someone that just kicked his ass. Well, that made me sacrifice a lot of fucking health, didn't it? I'm dead. I'm not lasting very much. Am I? So I've been fighting three guys, I haven't even realized. I have killed General Tung Tao. Oh. I'm pretty sure this game did not make into a Nintendo console. You really need me to tell you why? Yeah, the voice acting is okay, the dialogue not so much.